Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Riddhi Dua. In case you're new here, welcome. And in today's video, I am going to do a full face of Mars Cosmetics or you could call it a first impressions because I have not tried these products or anything from Mars before this. Something that is great about this brand is that it is really, really affordable. So I purchased seven products for just about rupees 1100. Honestly, with this price point, I am a little worried about the quality and the performance of the products. I don't know. Okay, we will test it out together. And I did purchase from Foxy because there was discount on Foxy. I did purchase some products from Mars Cosmetics website itself because those were not available on Foxy. Now, without any further ado, let's get into it. Zoom in. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Mars everything is from mars hydro glow primer secret potion to your luminous skin it adds perfect amount of shine and hydration so that you keep glowing throughout the day i love all of that i love hydration because i have dry skin and i love to glow so you know a piece of paper that says shake well before use i suppose that it comes in two shades i'm not sure but just for reference i got the pink one so i'm gonna shake it well as they say so it comes in a dropper so by the way you should never apply your skincare like this don't do as i do do as i say hmm it smells wow it smells like something delicious but that was not enough so I'm going to take a little bit more. Actually, it does have shimmer particles, but very fine. Wherein you can't really see this on your face. It just feels like a serum, if so you will. And honestly, it does feel very, very hydrating. So it did sink into my skin, but I don't know if you guys can tell that or not. But it definitely is a little sticky as well, which is actually good for a primer because then it really grips onto the foundation. It being sticky is good, but I don't know if I like that sticky feel. Ugh. So it definitely did give me a glow, but it's not like mind-blowingly glowy if i make sense okay so then we have the mars bb cream so this is supposed to be skin correcting and color correcting and i got it in the shade light i suppose they have five to six shades in the bb cream which they can increase honestly it really does have that funny foundation smell like very powdery like the foundation your granny would wear you know, the old L'Oreal and Maybelline foundation smells. It just really does have that makeup-y smell to it. I don't know what just happened. It was thick like a cream, but now it just feels like I'm rubbing water on my skin. But the shade does match me perfectly, which is good for me. And it does have a beautiful glow to it as well. It definitely is on a lighter coverage. But it is covering up pretty nicely. Honestly, I really did not expect to love it. But I really am loving it. It looks really nice. Then I got the concealer. This is Seal the Deal Concealer. I can't remember. But some other brand uses Seal the Deal. But anyways, I got it in the shade Natural. I don't know if I chose the right shade. It looks pretty light for me. They just literally copied LA Girl Pro Conceal's packaging. And I also got a sponge. This is the Mars Wonder Blender. And it does not have like a pointing edge. It sort of has like a slant in here. Okay, so I soaked up my sponge. It expanded quite a bit and honestly, it feels really nice. like sort of like squirted over me okay now it's now it's out okay it's is definitely light for me and it has sort of like a peachy pinky undertone which i doubt will work for me because i'm more of like a yellow undertone girl now let's just blend this out oh straight away even without touching my skin i need a pointed edge. I, I don't like this flat edge. Uh. Oh. 
It blends out easily, I wanna say. I'm gonna use a little bit more because I feel like I need it. So definitely did add a little bit more coverage. This concealer actually looks pretty hydrating underneath my eyes. It does not look heavy or cakey or like dry. I rarely go in with the second round for the concealer. With this, I had to and still I feel there is a coverage lacking, so. Then we got the Micro Precision Brow Pencil. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. I think they had two shades, brown and black. So this is the brown one. Okay, so it has spoolie on one side, which I'm not a fan of. The thick part over here is sort of like interfering not liking that so it is shaped like the benefit wow brow the thicker one they have two one is the precision one this is not that the thicker one i think it's wow brow i'm not sure it is called micro precision but the shape of it is not for any sort of precision honestly i don't use these sort of like thick eyebrow pencils anymore oh the benefit goof proof that is the shape of this. <laughs> now I get it. It could be good for a quick look. Can you guys see that? It is really waxy. It's sort of like stick my eyebrows down. I have never seen an eyebrow pencil do this. But I do like the shade. It's like a nice cool tone brown for my eyebrows at least. So I don't think that they have a brow gel in their collection. So I will just use my NYX brow glue just to set my eyebrows in place honestly i think that i'm being a little too harsh on these products because i think it retails around 100 rupees maybe or less and for that it's a really good eyebrow pencil you know then we have a highlighter to try out this is the mars spectra glow in shade champagne okay so this is how the packaging looks like and as you guys can see i already did use this on this side and this is in the shade champagne but honestly it just is like a gold and not really a champagne shade i was honestly not supposed to take out this much obviously but this packaging does not have any control in it it just keeps coming out by itself be careful with the packaging or else you gotta be wasting a lot like I am, you know, because you just need a little bit. So I'm just gonna use my finger, apply it onto the tops of my cheekbones and then I'm gonna use my sponge to blend this all in. It really does not have any sort of like intense thick shimmer particles. It is intense but very smooth at the same time. Honestly, I look like a tin man. I'm very glowy today. Then I got a powder to try out. This is the Mars Silky Skin Powder. Gently improves skin color. Refreshing skin, moisturizing, concealing, blemish. Something, something. I suppose they have a lot of shades in this because it is also supposed to sort of like add a little bit of coverage. So this is how the packaging looks like. So this is in the shade 01. It does have a yellow undertone to it, but it looks pretty light. You really can't see it. Can you? Oh my God. It looks white on camera. You get a mirror with it. And once you open it up, uh, you also... Oh, there's other kind of powder in here and then it has a sponge why are there two powders in it is this powders for like different purposes or what i really don't get it they both feel pretty similar in texture i'm just gonna stick to the one in top and it is a blurring powder for sure and again, it has that makeup -y smell in it. And now I'm going to make sure there is no creasing underneath my eyes. And set.
honestly it does not look heavy at all on my skin i really think that i'm going to keep using this powder i actually sort of did expect to love it because it's like a moisturizing powder you know so and you guys can see this on camera my skin looks pretty smooth after using this powder you know okay so mars cosmetics do not have a blush or a bronzer or a contour in their collection so i'm gonna be using mine and i will be right back okay so i'm back with my bronzer and my blush on and I have to say something I was liking it for a while there but now with like powder on top of it it does not look like a glow anymore it just looks like fine specks of glitter sitting on top of my skin before powder it looked like it sort of like melted into my skin but honestly, it really did not melt into my skin because as soon as powder went on top of it, it just looks like a mess. No, I just don't like it. Now we have an eyeshadow palette. So this is the Mars Fantasy 15 eyeshadow palette. Why can't they paste it like straight? I hate this. It's like crooked. I really hate that. Anyways, this is in shade 03. That just gives off its quality. And this is how it looks. I do really enjoy this color scheme in here. Now I also got a liquid eyeshadow. So let me just open this first so that I can see what shade it is. Moon Glow 01. And for a change, this packaging actually looks nice. So it's like a silvery shade. So it looks smooth and pigmented, blends out pretty nicely as well. Now I'm going to dip into this darker brown shade over here. These shades are a little like powdery, but that's not an issue, honestly, because these are pretty pigmented, you know? I'm loving the shade, first of all, but I will calm it down later because I no more like such intense looks. Now I'm going to take this white shade over here and I'm going to apply it to my inner half of the eyelids just to add a little like brightness to this look. Now what I'm going to do is to take this uh, liquid eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it onto the back of my hand and then because I don't want my eye look to turn silvery, I'm going to use my finger, pick it up and just apply it like that i don't want it to be pigmented by any means i just want like a sparse glitter and i'm taking it on my inner corners as well something like that that looks pretty nice i am really really enjoying this eyeshadow it does not have a lot of fallout even it looks really pretty and eye catchy well okay loving it then we have an eyeliner to try out this is the liquid ink eyeliner okay so this is the eyeliner and it looks really nice you know it sort of has a stone in between so i'm gonna like shake it up and it has like a felt tip there are two sort of tips, a brush tip and a felt tip. This is a felt tip. I have not used the liquid eyeliner in so long because I don't use liquid eyeliners anymore. Eh, eh, eh. Maybe I'm just going to do a tiny little wing. Um... The formula is actually pretty good, but I don't like the applicator. It's like very stiff, you know, it does not have any like movement or flexibility to it. So it's like very hard to create a wing with. And also it does not give a thin line. It's like very thick. Well, I just really don't like that applicator. Unfortunately, I wish they could change the applicator on it and then it would be perfect. I'm using the same shades for my lower lash line as well. Then we have a mascara to try out. This is the Mars Thick Length Waterproof Fabulash Mascara, I suppose it is called. Let's open this up. Ooh, ooh. It's like a big, big wand. Wow. And it sort of has like a curve to it as well. 
Oh, oh my god. I'm like scared to use this mascara because the wand is so big. Let's see. And it's a very wet mascara. And the wands are very spiky as well. So it is sort of like sticking my eyelashes together and not really providing me that feathery eyelash look that I love. Now I have like lumps all over my eyelashes and it really did spoil my eye look as well. Not a fan at all. Like really hating this mascara. So at last we have a lip color to try out. This is the non-transferred butter stick in the shade 17 office meeting let me no it's not a nude at all and i can't get a precise application with it either so this color definitely does not work with this eye look but about the formula it glides on easily but it definitely looks matte so what I'm going to do is to wipe this off. Ooh, it does not come off. It is non-transferable non lipstick. What I'm going to do is, is to just use like a nude lip color underneath. This is the Bobbi Brown Creamy Matte Lip Color in Warm Nude. I'm going to use this as a base. And then I'm just going to... Dab this color on top like that. I'm quickly going to give you guys an overview. Um, hydrating, yes. Glowy, not really. But I would keep using this. You know, it's not a bad product. Shockingly, I really did enjoy this. It really did not settle into my fine lines, which I appreciate very, very much. It's definitely on a lighter coverage side. Great for everyday use. I wish it had a little bit more coverage, but I can keep using this for like everyday, no makeup, makeup looks. Although I think I would need a darker shade for that. This has to be my favorite out of all the products that I've tried out today. So this is definitely a keeper and I think that you should try this as well. No, like, no, no thank you. I am decluttering it. Even if it would dry out, I hate that wand. Declutter. So if you're looking for a lipstick that is non-transferable, this is a good one. But I don't like how thin and how flimsy it is. Again, the application is not a fun process with it, you know? The eyebrow pencil is actually good. I do really enjoy the shade. Nothing too amazing, but it's fine. I loved this. It does not have any sort of like fallout and it is really glittery. Hit the packaging. Looks cheap, clearly, but the eyeshadow, I just used three eyeshadows, but those are good. Okay, so those were all of the products that I tried out today. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if there is a brand that you would like for me to try out and give you guys my review, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this one, do not forget to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It helps me so, so much. And I will see you all next time. Till then, stay safe, stay happy. Bye.